All right, what is going on, my dudes? That's right, we have a freaking mutant entering MCOC. The last mutant champion that we had was Captain Britain. The last time we got a mutant, the balance program did not exist yet. However, actually, it kind of did. I feel like people are forgetting this at this point, but the first champions who were supposed to be in the rebalance program were Omega Sentinel and Captain Britain. And for God knows what reason, people thought Omega Sentinel was going to get nerfed. Obviously, she didn't, and she wouldn't have. Point being, man, we could have had a very different Captain Britain in-game today if it didn't get delayed by one month. But regardless, we're not talking about Captain Britain today. We're talking about Danny Moonstar. Oh baby, this is a fun champ with some sick animations, dude. We are overdue for some solid mutants, so I'm very excited to have another mutant in the game. All right, Danny Moonstar. She is one of those characters who looks so complicated here. Look at all these things, these different numbers and effects. It's so simple, and I'm gonna break it down for you easier than I ever have before, okay? I'm gonna tell you everything that you need to know and only the stuff that you need to know and the stuff that's really gonna be relevant, all right? So Danny has these illusions, okay? And when she or her opponent crosses a combo meter of 10, she gains one. When she blocks a hit, she gains pretty much a phase passive, okay? She puts a falter on the opponent um for a few seconds 2.5 seconds okay now this happens every time you cross a multiple of 10 obviously it's going to be happening quite often now great ability here she gains one of these illusions when she's inflicted with a disorient fragility or intimidate debuff or passive and if that effect is on her for more than 10 seconds she's going to keep gaining those illusions right so if she has it right she goes puts the falter and everything 10 seconds go by she gains gains another illusion without crossing 10. Zemo puts those permanent disorients on you. She is probably the best Zemo counter in the entire game. All right. So neural arrows. So when the opponent misses, you gain a neural arrow. These max out at five stacks. Okay. Now for every neural arrow that you have, the final hit of Danny's special one and special two inflict a neuroshock debuff dealing energy damage over eight seconds and they're all removed at the end of the special attack and skill champs can't heal while that's active. Okay, so the opponent hits through your phase, you gain a neural arrow. Okay, prowess effects. These max out at five. When you hit the opponent while they're faltered, you gain prowess. So you get your illusion, you trigger the falter, they miss, you gain a neural arrow, you hit them, you gain a prowess. These also max out at five. They're indefinite, have 15% potency, okay? And if her prowess effects fail, okay, as she gains a neural arrow, great. Don't, but you're not gonna wanna fight her with like, you know, Nimrod or anything. Anyway, yeah, like I just said, you gain a prowess when faltering the opponent and one more each time you strike a faltered opponent, okay? Activating a special attack while you have neural arrows removes all of your prowess buffs and replaces them with prowess passives, okay? So you always wanna make sure you use your special attack while you have at least one neural arrow, okay? All personal prowess effects gained during special attacks gain 80% potency for each neural arrow, and you can have a max of five, right? So obviously a lot of moving pieces here, but all you really need to know is you want to use your big special two when you have five neural arrows and five prowess buffs. Now here's the really fun thing, right? When you hit the opponents, when the, the, the falter is on, you gain prowess. You could have up to five prowess buffs. Your special attack will turn those prowess into passives. So you currently have zero prowess buffs, right? Well, guess what? Your falter is paused during special attacks. So if you throw the special two or the special one, into the into the opponent while they're faltered you're going to end up with 10 prowesses five buffs five passives it's going to do a lot of damage i'll show this to you in the gameplay okay so the special one the first hit does a slow passive for 20 seconds and then you get an unblockable passive before the end for the amount of neural uh, arrows that you have and the final hit does a non-stacking energy vulnerability passive you want to go special one special two so that you can go for the big special two while you have the energy vulnerability on the special two um does 
six impact passives for five seconds. This is basically increases your block penetration, more of a defensive ability, but also activating the special attack with five or more neural arrows inflicts a 70% overload passive for 25 seconds. Overload is essentially like trauma, but energy damage. So if you attack, right, you're gonna do additional burst of damage. So really, really, really nice to have there. The special three, this special attack costs 6% less power and an additional 6% uh, less for each neural arrow. After this attack, you gain six prowess buffs and the limit goes up to 10. So yeah, you could totally go for some special three things. However, in the places you want to use Danny, more often than not, you're not going to be going for the special threes. So for sick ability, if a neuroshock or stun debuff is removed for any reason other than expiring, up to a 100% chance to inflict a neuroshock passive, right? So it just kind of takes the debuff, turns it into a passive, which is great against skill champs. But then this is cool. When the opponent's health is at or below 10%, inflict an indefinite marked passive. So what that does is it kind of like says nope to Immortal Hulk, Black Widow, Clairvoyant, Hercules, right? Those champions with the cheat death mechanics, Hella, for example. Funny enough, it does not affect Nick Fury. However, the top bullet, the Neuroshock, right? That is what hurts Nick Fury because when Neuroshock is active, skill champions cannot heal. I'll show it to you later. All right, so that's Danny. She, I promise she seems a lot more complicated than she is, okay? So let's go ahead and take a look at her gameplay now. So we got this new Winter Soldier here on the, uh, the, the, the balance test map, which is nice, but he's got about 185,000 health. So around a battleground health pool here, we'll go in with a six star rank four Danny, okay? So let's go over some rotations, okay? So if you wanna be using her in Battlegrounds, this is the rotation that I like to go for, right? This kind of thing. So build up um, your combo so you can get your illusion, right? Cause you wanna squeeze in as much damage as you possibly can here. But also I like to do this, nine, all right? And I'm gonna go like this, full combo into a special one. Why? Because this is gonna leave me at 19, right? Under the interval of 10, right away. I got my first illusion, right? I'm getting my prowess and now I have another illusion. And now I can go ahead and get my neural arrows up while I build up to special two. And as you can see, I have another illusion ready to go. So I'm gonna go for a full five foot combo, illusion to get an easy opening, go for another five foot combo here. And then I have an illusion if the special two does not kill, but as you can see, it's going to. Right now, this Winter Soldier had about 190,000 health. Let's say I had like 220,000 or something like that, right? As you can see, the last hit, we didn't even get the extra burst damage from the overload. And of course, we were gonna have five Neuroshock debuffs as well. So this probably would have ended up doing around 245K, right at this point in about 50 seconds, which is really not too bad. So real quick, you'll notice that when we go for the special two here, okay? The Falter is active on Winter Soldier. We're gonna use our special attack. Our five prowess buffs are converted into prowess passives, okay? The Falter is paused, and now I'm gonna hit him five times with, this, with the machine gun right in the face, right in the balls, boom. He's just dead. He's just dead, man. It's just, he's just gone. So let's go ahead and take a look at like a seven star rank one Danny, man, because every new champ is going to be a seven star now and Paragon Crystals feature Paragon Crystals. So people are going to be pulling her today. People are going to be commenting and being like, wow, I opened one Paragon Crystal and I got a seven star Danny. And I'm going to say, hey, go to hell, bro. You jerk. All right. So at this point, right, when a bit of a longer fight around 600,000 health. I'm doing this, okay? I'm building up. I'm not doing my little fancy nine into special one rotation. I'm going for the special one right under special two. And I'm also squeezing out more damage after two falter cycles in the special one, okay? Because the health pool's higher, I want the added health. This is this is more of like, a, you know, I want as much damage as I can out of her here. Okay, so here, the energy vulnerability is still active. We're gonna be going for a special two here. And as you can see, the, the seven star looks rather similar to her six star rank four. Now, the thing with her SIG ability, right? She has a great SIG ability, countering Nick Fury, countering, um, you know, other skill champions like Kingpin, Mole Man, right? All the shrugging, Zemo, all that fun stuff. 
she can do everything you're seeing against Winter Soldier here completely unduped. So, I, I, obviously, this is, yeah, this is unduped seven star. But her sig ability does not impact her damage, which is really, really nice. So, if you happen to pull either a six star or a seven star Danny Moonstar today, right? Lots of lag in this fight. Sorry about that. Um, she does some really darn solid things unawakened, man, which is really, really nice. So, let's take a look at some favorable matchups, some utility. So, I mentioned Zemo, right? Yeah, so Zemo is a terror on defense, and she is really, really good for him. So her falter has 150% ability accuracy. For Disorients, right, 10% defensive ability accuracy reduction each on Zemo. So uh, you're always very, very safe to go for the falter, all that fun stuff. And look, it's back. The illusion's back. You get the easy openings and watch this with the SIG ability. Bam! He cleanses all five of my debuffs, but boom, you got the passives. You got the passives instead yeah so really really solid zemo counter just from top to bottom um if you're not comfy like you know messing with a special two still don't push him to a special two right but if you are comfy dexing that and everything go for it if i stun him and he shrugs it right we put a neuroshock passive on him which is great now on top of that we also have a slow debuff a slow passive on the special one along with right all the neural arrows that we're going to place and he's going to shrug off just naturally goodbye gone cleansed cleanse my friend and he can't go unstoppable which is just absolutely lovely and while he has the neuroshock he can't heal now nicholas fury 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 this guy is an absolute jerk face am i right so danny's really really good for him however she does want to be duped now I didn't have neural arrows here, right? So you might be thinking like, oh my God, I messed up. The mark passive is here, but it's not gonna kill him. It's not just the neuroshocks that you need because I can also put a stun debuff on him and kill him like that. So watch this, okay? Boom, neuroshock. Now, of course, this is the way you should do it, right? Like this, you wanna time it. So it's really cool and it's really awesome. And you go like this, right? And it's gonna kill him with the special one the last hit so that way when he shrugs the neuroshocks he gets the passive and he drops dead lots of fun fun for everyone fun for the whole family all right we got a mortal hulk here i think you get the points by now we're gonna kill him and he's not going to go immortal right watch boom marked passive and dead marked passive and dead okay and now we got mole man then you get the point. Same reason why we're good for um, for Kingpin. We're good for Mole Man because on the special one here, right? What's going to happen on the special one, guys? We're going to go and put the debuffs, but he's going to cleanse them off. We whiff there a little bit. That's going to get fixed, right? And he gets two things here. He gets a passive slow, a passive slow, and also the two neuroshocks that he cleansed or that he purified get the passives so yeah i was going in here to hit his block to show you that he doesn't go unstoppable however i'm unblockable so i just kind of killed him but yeah i got a slow passive you know what slow does right so that is danny moonstar she's quite solid man i mean she's a mutant and mutants have the damage right if you want to have some fun here and take a look at her as a horseman as a seven star with some suicides on let's take a look shall we Let's take a look at the damage here. Now, obviously, here's the thing, right? The suicides are going to really increase your damage a lot. A lot, all right? So the horseman honestly isn't doing too much here. Stupid Winter Soldier, man. Um, this is so funny. Watch this. I got stunned here. We went unstoppable. Doesn't even matter, right? Doesn't even matter. We're going like this. Bam! And I'll show you why it doesn't matter. In just a moment so we're gonna build up special two and and spoiler alert it's gonna be all she wrote all right so now we're gonna go ahead and trigger our illusion right we got all of our stuff and watch this okay yeah that's so 116k crit on the end of the special two and then the overload does the 122k because you got the 70% plus the energy vulnerability. It's a big special too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that was a 45, 50-ish second Winter Soldier kill. Yeah, she's solid without suicides for longer fights. Solid with them, man. It's like, you know, special one, special two, 550,000 health. That was Horseman, right? 
but yeah that would have killed him even without the horseman with the crit um horse woman let's say even yeah i mean pretty darn pretty darn solid man there's also i think a decent synergy in here for valkyrie if i remember correctly oh uh, yeah you gain an indefinite 50 percent pierce buff when the opponent's below 20 percent health that's nice and this one's actually decent for um for kate bishop projectile hits gain 25 percent critical damage rating that's nice also really good for danny actually um because that's a decent bit and these are cool 20% physical resistance, 20% energy resistance. That sounds like a lot. But yeah, man, first mutant in a while. In a while. And she's pretty darn cool. And she just looks like a badass as well, man. So that's always welcome, you know? All right, my phone's on 10% health. It's 2 a.m. and I'm exhausted. So, yeah. You got anything to say, Turtwig? Nothing? Nothing. All right, that's going to be it for this one. Let me know what you think about Danny Moonstar in the comment section below. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any Lady Deathstrike gameplay. And I'll be seeing you around, man.